And so the story begins with little Ellie, um, her s circumstances are a little bit strange. Um, it sounds like she was found in somebody's garden. Apparently an eagle um, took her mother or attacked the mother and she left the little baby behind. And uh, the people found her there after a, a day or two and picked her up because the troop didn't come back and collect her, contact, contacted us and uh, brought her in. I'm not too sure. He was sitting outside for two days before they intervened. They said they don't know if his mom was taken by an eagle or not. Making sure the little ones are prop properly hydrated and that they don't have any other injuries uh, is very important. And that's normally the first thing we do with uh, any little orphan that comes in, give them a good once over uh, and make sure we can rehydrate them uh, as quickly as possible. <laughs> Ellie is a rather small little baby so she can't be very very old uh, probably a, probably a couple of days uh, so one does have to be very careful um, administering any liquids and things like this because uh, this is a stage that they can get um, pneumonia very very quickly if things aren't done properly so that's why we always use somebody that's uh, worked with the monkeys before we just come all the way to Chimp Eden just to fetch this little one and uh, now we're going to be on our way back home and hopefully get him back with the others Little Maddox was uh, found on his own on the side of the road so we're not too sure if he was involved in a motor car accident and his mother killed but he was handed into Chimp Eden and they contacted us to come and collect him. We arrive at the foundation and Ellie, the monkey mom, she's ready to take over um, and just giving his once over check and make sure everything's okay uh, and that he's in good condition and take things further from there. Yes, that's correct. Not so well, but you know, no. sometimes I pushed on the bottom to help him. Okay. And how long did they have him for? Uh, some, ah! some, just some days. Okay, a few yeah. days. Yeah, a few days. Somebody handed him in to Champion. Mm -hmm. ah! You can see the difference between Ellie and Maddox. Maddox is a little bit older and has been with the bomb and therefore is uh, more concerned about trying to get away and get back to his troop. So even at this very young age he's fully aware that he's not actually in the right place. Ready, baby? Don't you look like Allie and Allie. I've got little G. Too tired. Ellie meeting uh, Martini and little G. Um, so the first time seeing other little monkeys since she's been in our care. You can see there's no real adverse reaction because uh, she's so young. So this is quite normal for her to meet other little babies and things and not frightening or anything like that to her. So she'll fit in with them uh, relatively quickly. <laughs> Just a mix of monkeys. Yeah, friends. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Ellie taking in her surroundings. It's probably like uh, all very strange for her. She's not quite sure of how things normally work, so she wouldn't know if this is normal or abnormal. After a couple of days in the area we call Disneyland, um, of course they start finding them their feet and moving around um, and getting used to their, their new environment. So you can see how well little Ellie settled in. She's quite happy and content and uh, doesn't have any worries about every, anything. Um, so she's getting on very, very well at the moment. Little Maddox's uh, reaction totally different. Doesn't seem to be scared of the other little ones, um, but his main concern is getting enough food. So uh, that's where he went <laughs> over to the food <laughs> bowl, climbed in and started feeding himself. Little G not having any of this and I uh, thought she'd better come over and uh, have a look at Maddox and welcome him to the area, although he just seems to be ignoring her, but uh, as all females they've got the way of uh, breaking uh, the barriers down. A little Maddox settled in nicely now, um, found himself uh, in a piece of a toilet roll and this is entertaining him for a little while. Well here we were taking uh, little ones up to Goliath where they're going to be introduced to their foster mom. It is a little bit of a walk, um, Goliath is right on the other side of the foundation and uh, the cage has been prepared there for them all ready and waiting and then we'll just see how the interactions basically go between them and the troop what direction? <laughs> Final checks are just made on the intra cage just to make sure there's no way where the little ones can get out uh, because if they get out too soon they could be injured by the troops. So it's very important just to make sure all the little holes and things are closed around the area. Oh, she's falling asleep. <laughs> 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 He was an orphan from before. So he's come to check. Check what's going on. I'm just going to go with the mirror. Okay. I've got. Oh. What's she doing? So Mirabelle, Mirabelle seems interested in the light. That would be interesting actually, because she, she hasn't really had a baby as such. Mm. Okay. 
Jesus. Stone. First thing they always do is <laughs> pick up a stone and eat it. She was really watching intently. Hopefully, there's not a favouritism for Ellie. Because she's smaller? Yes. Mm. She's very like calm. There we have uh, some of the troops sitting in a shady patch having a look at what's going on. Um, so they are showing a little bit of interest, but no one's come over as yet. So the first little bit of interaction, you can see there's a finer mesh, we call a chicken wire, that's on the cage at the bottom there, just to prevent uh, anyone from pulling the little babies through um, while they get used to them. Little ones aren't scared at all and they all seem to be happy with each other. Big thing as I said in the last video is have a look at their faces. You can see still how pink they are and near the end of the video you're going to see um, how they've transformed basically to black. Little Maddox has seen something in the troop that he's really interested in and he's trying to get it through. Uh, without drawing the attention of any of the monkeys in the inside. Um, he's really obsessed with food, so this is probably a nice food item that he's, he's trying to get hold of. Um, and he's not really worried about anybody else in the vicinity, um, just to make sure he can get whatever's there. Mm -hmm. You would think Ellie is very easy to identify with uh, those massive big ears, but uh, surprisingly all that seems to disappear as they get older, and uh, in the troop it actually becomes quite difficult to tell them apart. Interactions with the troop is uh, going very well. They don't seem scared at all. Um, there's no adverse reaction from the troop itself. Um, so this is a very, very good sign. Uh, it does mean we can start thinking about letting a mom in um, to get accustomed to them or get them accustomed to her. But it is kind of a different story once uh, this big monkey comes inside uh, and they realize it. So uh, that'll be interesting to see a bit later on.
So we've moved the little blanket closer to the intro door um, just to try and get a little bit more interactions uh, from the troop and get them more accustomed to what's going on. At this point we've removed the little Maddox from the enclosure, so it's just Ellie here now. He was clinging on to it too much and we are just worried uh, that things weren't going to go too well. So he wasn't letting her um, get close to the moms or anything like that. So she is on her own, this is why she seems like a little bit frightened. And then so she's coming out. female come in and you can see how uh, Ellie is sort of hiding away. She's not really too sure what's going on. kept hiding behind this little blanket so unfortunately we had to move the blanket just uh, so we can get more interaction with her and the mom. Well, Mrs. Gold has been uh, let into the intro cage uh, to see how she's going to react. So uh, little Ellie sort of a little bit frightened sitting on the chair there, not really knowing what to expect. And uh, here comes Mrs. Gold behaving herself very well. She hasn't just run straight up or anything like that. Um, she's doing things very, very carefully. Um, Ellie pretending she's ignoring Mrs. Gold. Um, but you can see how gentle she is with the little new one and trying to comfort her as best she can. Well, as you can see, it didn't take too long. And she's enticed Ellie into her arms. And um, now Ellie is feeling a lot safer with her. We're now bringing uh, Maddox back into the enclosure. Um, so he's been away f uh, for a little bit, so he is kind of scared. You can see he's kind of attached onto his caregiver. And uh, this is him coming into the enclosure now, very scared of Mrs. Gold. Um, screaming and running around in the corners, not really knowing what to do. Um, we'll slowly see how he watches Ellie to see her reaction um, with, Mrs. with Mrs. Gold and sees things seem to be okay there. So he doesn't really know why he's scared. Um, so hopefully this will this will help him settle in a little bit. Mrs. Gold, as you can see, hasn't forced herself onto him at all. She's kind of ignoring him. Uh, so she does play quite a good waiting game, which is important, because if she just ran up to him, it would actually scare him a lot more. Um, yeah, she's down on the floor um, eating some grass that's been put in with Ellie, and she'll sort of take her time um, and probably let him come down and meet her, uh, which is the, the best situation.
Hilly has come over to Maddox, hopefully to boost his uh, confidence a little bit, that he sees that she's okay and that she doesn't mind the foster moms um, and that everything's okay in the closure. So these two are kind of attached to each other. Maddox is uh, really attached to Ellie, um, which is kind of strange because she's a smaller one and he's slightly bigger than her. Um, but of course they comfort each other and that's the important thing. So this is Maddox. He held on tightly to onto Mrs. Gold and uh, Mrs. Mrs. Gold, Gold grooming and giving Maddox a once over. I guess we so he's come to accept her quite nicely. Um, so things should go pretty well uh, from here on. Um, both of them are very, very comfortable with her, and hopefully she'll take both of them out uh, into the enclosure. Well, there we go. Mrs. Gold is out. She's turned side. around having a look for her charges. Ellie has followed. Um, so that's fantastic. Um, and there she goes back and sort of grabs Maddox and just pulls him out into the enclosure. So that's them out and uh, they're going to go and have a look around and see what things are like. A beautiful shot of uh, Ellie with uh, Mrs. Gold as uh, she explores the area, um, looking around and seeing what's going on, but uh, very settled in. So it's it's really fantastic to see this. Uh, both of them look very happy and content, and uh, that's the important thing. It's a little rougher for little Maddox because he's kind of the tag along. Being slightly older is not as attractive to the females as what little Ellie would be. Um, but he'll soon settle in and, and find his place. Maddox, of course, still finding Ellie as his uh, support and holding on her to get his confidence up. Well, yeah, we can see how they've settled in so nicely. A little group of them um, sitting under the tree in the shade, um, getting on very well, very relaxed, um, foraging a bit and things like that. So uh, a nice little scene. I'm up at Goliath. Uh, it's late afternoon. I'm just doing a check on Maddox and Ellie. I just found them. This is little Maddox. And it looks like he's having a great time jumping around here, very active. And then just to my left, we have Ellie and Mrs. Gold.
So Ellie's had a mixed time since going on the trip. She's picked up a couple of little injuries. Uh, nothing very serious at all, very minor. Just a couple of little welcome to the trip bites. Uh, but as you can see, they're still with Mrs. Gold. Um, they're very comfortable, they're very confident. Uh, sometimes they just let her walk off. But they still uh, sleep with Mrs. Gold and uh, always go back to her. So it's really nice to see. So I've just come round the corner to Goliath. I've already seen them. Here is Mrs. Gold. And she is with Ellie. And just in the back there is Maddox. So that was a nice quick one. Both doing great. Uh, as you can see, they look very comfortable. They're well settled. And I think Ellie actually has a little belly on her. So that's great. Her face is getting very dark as well. Ellie enjoying some of the amazing corn we were able to get. Uh, monkeys really love corn. It's probably the second favorite to bananas. So here you see Ellie, uh, the one right in the middle, and then Maddox is uh, this back just went up with his papaya skin. Lady. Well now fully integrated into the troop. I uh, don't know if you've been noticing, look at the little faces, they've gone completely black now because they've been getting the sun and things like this and uh, now they are full members running around on their own, doing their own little thing, playing with the other little juveniles and stuff like that and uh, finally have become the monkeys they should have been. So here we have Ellie in the background and Maddox. <laughs> this female seems to really like Ellie. <laughs> I don't know how much Ellie likes her back. Well, thanks again everybody for watching. I hope you liked this update of following these two from arrival till they ended up in the, in the troop. Uh, it's always good to see how they progress. Um, a big thank you to everybody that's supporting us through these tough times. It is rather difficult, but your help is making it possible. Please do encourage other people to watch our YouTube channel. Uh, if you have anyone that can help donate, there is PayPal. There's our crowdfunding page. Thanks, everybody, for watching the adverts or clicking on them. All of these things help. And uh, we'll be working on the e next episode for next week which if I have it correct should be uh, Rene and Patton.